What's up, guys? This is another episode of Fishing with Flair. Today, uh, I'm doing nothing with fishing, actually. I'm sorry to all my subscribers that only fish, but I am an outdoorsman, so I also do hunt. As you can see here, I got a big old goose. Uh, I got another one down there, but I was going to show you guys how, to, how I clean my goose. Okay, so the first thing you do is, right, there's like two rib cages here. You stick your finger and find where the end is. So then you stick your knife and you pop a little hole like that. Once you have the hole, to make sure you have to cut, you just all you're doing is cutting a hole so your fingers can get past the fat of it. I think that should be good. In a bigger hole. Make sure not to cut your finger. <laughs> okay, so once you get the hole, you can start peeling it back. So just get your fingers down. You can see here. Just get your fingers down in there. Just this back up, and just stick your fingers down. And just rip out like that and just keep doing that over and over until you get the meat and then use like your hand like this and push down so then the meat gets exposed like that and you want to go all the way down until the breasts are all exposed you keep pushing down like that Sometimes when the skin gets caught like right here, see that skin, just get your blade, just cut like that. Sometimes you get your blade and just cut along the fat line. So all you're doing is peeling everything back like this. So then, as you can see, the whole breast is exposed. Just make sure you have enough room to start cutting. Just peel everything back. Okay, once it's all peeled back like that, you want to get your knife, make sure your knife's sharp, and there's a little line. It's like it splits the rib cage right here. And what you got to do is, like if I'm going to cut off this side, stick your knife along that and angle it at the, the side like that you're not cutting. So angle it like this, make your line just like this, and just cut down so you can't cut down anymore. And then around this bend, you just have to kind of inch your way across do this. So then your meat, your meat's starting to get exposed. Then you want to cut. You want to cut over here like that. And then just start kind of like angling it down, down the rib cage, and then around. So when I get this peeled back, you'll be able to see it. You just want to be careful what you're cutting. Make sure you get all the meat around the rib cage. So you just kind of do like little swipes, like I'm doing, just to make sure you're not missing anything. And then right here, over here, the meat will be attached. And you just want to cut around the little bone over there. And then once it's all peeled back from here, you just want to cut down and cut because it's attached to the fat. So you just want to cut off the fat. Just like that. Just like that. So you got your big old piece of breast meat like that. And then when you're gonna go to like, whatever, however way you cook it, just make sure you cut like fat off and uh, cut the fat off over here. And then there's usually like a little loose piece of meat there. But that's a big old breast and you can see I didn't, I didn't miss any over there. So then you just do the exact same thing on the other side. So like there's a bone right here. Just stick your knife. Just cut a line like that. And then use your thumb. Just kind of watch what you're doing. And you just want to kind of do short little cuts around the rib cage. Make sure you don't bust the rib cage. Just angle your knife out, and then the rib cage, when the rib cage caves back in, you just want to angle it down. So all you're doing is making your knife follow around the rib cage. That's all you're doing. It takes some practice to get it down. I've been doing this for a few years, and I'm not all that great at it. But, I mean, I can get the job done in a pretty reasonable time. Just, all you got to do is just make sure you're watching what you're doing. You don't need to cut yourself or anything. 
just cut away at the fat. And then over here, so you can see it's connected right there. Just use your knife and just cut it. Should I get you guys to see that? And then cut under. And then just try to pull it out and whatever it's um, stuck on, just start cutting at it. And this one's a little, this one has a lot of fat on it, so it's, my knife's not cutting through it as well. There it goes. So you just keep doing that, and then just use your knife. Just keep cutting away until it comes out. Just like that. That's your big piece of breast meat. Just like that. And then that's it. That's all the meat you get off of it. I, as you can see, I missed, I missed this big piece of meat on here. I did this intentionally. Show you. All you have to do is cut it off like that. And I make my goose out of, I make jerky out of my goose. Um, and so like cutting a strip like that, it's fine. And just double check. Make sure you didn't miss anything. So that's how you breast out a goose. And uh, uh, I'll show you another one. I have another goose, so I'll show you how I... I'll do it again, and I'll just run through it again in case you missed it. So I'll grab my other goose. This one's a bit smaller. Remember, stick your finger. The rib cage is here. Stick your finger until you feel like the little gap. Stick your knife right by your finger. Cut out a little hole so you can get a grip. I think that might be good. And then just kind of stick your fingers up under and then try to get your other finger and just rip. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get your fingers under it. There we go. Just get your fingers on each side of the rib cage and just peel your way back. some reason these are kind of difficult usually it's not this difficult to peel back the meat and when it's difficult like this easy way to do it is just use your knife cut a, a different hole because sometimes you can see I'm peeling back the meat a little bit just cut until the meat's exposed and then just pull back just like that Go to the other side And just use your knife if you have to. See how it's stuck over here? Just get your knife, just cut like that. Just pee it all the way back. As far as you can go. Once you're good, you can, now you guys can see the, the end of the rib cage. So I'm gonna do this side first again. Stick your knife right next to your rib cage. Sorry, it's slipping there. And then angle it this way, cut, and then turn it back. And just make long strokes until you hit the ribcage. Try to get your fingers under it. Just like that. See the ribcage there? Just bring your knife right along, cut it all the way off, and then the fat's holding it on. Just get your knife, just cut it like that. There you go. Another breast, and then you can see like up here, I missed all this meat right here. It's not an issue. Just get your knife. It's kind of a Y shaped right here, so it goes like this, and then each side goes out. Just follow the Y bone. Use your knife. Just like that. And just all you're doing is getting the meat away from the fat, which is holding it on. That's all you're doing. There you go.
go. It's like that little piece of meat right there, and then there's another one. There you go. Okay, and then the same thing on the other side. Just make your line. Cut over here to that. Try to get your fingers under it. And then just start. You can see there? Just get your knife. And just start cutting away like that. And this side of the breast got shot up pretty good. So it's not going to, I mean, it's not going to look as good. So you can see it's kind of shredded. But just do your best. This does take practice. I've probably cleaned close to 50 to 100 geese in my life. I just started a few years ago. So obviously I'm not an expert, but I can get the job done. So just keep cutting away. And then you can see right here, the fat's hanging on. Again, just cut it. And then over here with the wide bone. <coughs> Sorry. And just cut, cut your meat off. There you go. So you got four breast meat, and I got basically everything done. So that's how you clean geese. Um, hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, just comment. Um, on this video that I'll put up. Uh, so yeah, that's how I like to clean my goose. And then what I do is I, after this is all washed off, I freeze it halfway. I cut it thinly, thinly in slices. I get jerky marinade, marinate it overnight, and then stick it in the oven around like 200 degrees for like six hours. And uh, so that's what I do with my meat. I make it in a jerky. It tastes just as good as Jack Link's. So uh, I hope this video helped with uh, cleaning a goose, and uh, thanks for watching.